Hey guys, can you hear me? Welcome to another live with me. Um, I was supposed to have a face camera this time. However, I forgot a very crucial part of that is having something called a capture card and I did not buy that. So next time I swear, oh my gosh, Grace, it's snowing on your side. It started snowing when I was driving home from work and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm already over the snow and it just started. So it says I have zero view. Oh, there we go. I was like, it says I have zero viewers, but people are, people are chatting. No, not happy winter. Very unhappy winter. Fall lasted 2.5 seconds. I'm mad. So today we have the polish pickup. What is the what is the theme? I forgot already. It was in my thumbnail. It's fairy tales and folklore, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's snowing everywhere. Uh hey Lisa. Hi Amanda. I I just don't understand how it's already snowing. Happy Halloween, everyone, by the way. I literally forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna save the live. Um, they, they put lives under a different tab now. It's not like on the main, but you just go to the live tab and it'll be saved there. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't understand how it's already snowing. It's Halloween it, and it's just like, give it, give it like three more days. Give it three more days before we sn start snowing. But anyways, let's hop right in. Like I said at the top, I don't have a face cam because I did not buy a capture card. So I'm going to buy that this week and then we'll have face streams and it's not snowing in California. Well, isn't that nice for California? California is very warm. I love that about California. But uh, everybody starts wearing short, or they stop wearing shorts once it's like 70 degrees. And I'm like, that's peak shorts weather. Okay, let's start wish listing. I've not seen many spoilers. I did see the wildflower and that's going to be going on my wish list, but let's check these out. So number one, we have Adored Colors Baba Yaga and um, oh, No Snow in Germany, of course not. This is, I don't think I have anything from this brand, but this looks really fun. They've got a lot of stuff going on in polish, in this polish. I really like polishes with a lot of stuff in it. Um, it's inspired by Baba Yaga, who is a character in Central and Eastern European folklore. It is a clover green base with opal flakes. And I I don't like this kind of green, but I do like all this stuff in it. Does it not snow everywhere before Halloween? Hello from Canada, where your snow suit is a major part of your Halloween costume. Yeah, in Michigan, it's the same way, where it's like every year you hope it's going to hold out. And then you have to go out in full winter gear to go trick-or-treating. So it kind of sucks. But what can you do? I guess Michigan is essentially part of Canada in some ways. So, but yeah. So this one, I'm not really feeling it. So I'm going to pass. I like the name though. Ooh, this one's pretty. Alchemy Lacquer's Snow Queen. This is inspired by the Anna and Elsa arc in the TV show Once Upon a Time. I never watched that. And the classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Snow Queen. <laughs> Hi to Canada from Canada, Kimmy. This is a bright aqua blue jelly nail lacquer that is packed with large particle shimmer that shifts from gold to green to turquoise to blue. This is definitely one of my kind of colors. I love blue and I love shifty polishes. So I'm going to add this to the wish list. I like alchemy lacquers quite a bit as well. This is All Mixed Up Lacquer's Forbidden Fruit Tastes Sweeter. Seems like it always snows on Halloween and never on Christmas. Very true. I feel like the last two or three Christmases I've had have been green Christmases. Happy Halloween from the South. No snow here before January. <laughs> Lucky you. This is inspired by a zombie snow white photo. And it is a deep vampy red base with red shimmer. This is a very pretty red, but I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like something my mom would wear, which instantly makes me not wanna wear it. So I'm gonna pass. My mom likes these kind of like glittery reds. Uh, 
I only have 24 items on my wish list. That's not really a lot for me since I add everything. I love how you say I only have 24 as if that's like a, a really stunning accomplishment. I love that. Anchor and Heart Lacquer, tell me a story, Aesop. Inspired by Aesop's fables, in particular, the cover art for by is it Chara Prabhat for Puffin's Classics 2013 edition. I, I don't understand what half of that means. Um, it is a cranberry red base with vibrant red gold green shimmer and a glimmer of purple shimmer and metallic lilac flakes. <laughs> this, every time I see purple and red together, it reminds me of, it's like that group of ladies where I think, don't you have to be like a certain age? Like you have to be a certain age or older to join. And then they all wear purple and red and then they like go out to eat and hang out together. Every time I see that color combo, that's all I can think of. Trying to only buy one. Oh, that's impossible. That's not worth the price of shipping. You gotta at least buy two, right? They need a friend, right? The Purple Hat Club. Yeah, like those are like those ladies look so fun. I want to be one of those old ladies when I get old. But yeah, I'm not into this. Again, it's like a kind of red that my mom would wear. So I'm going to pass. The Purple Hat Club. The Red Hat Society. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's what it is. And then, like, if you're, like, a certain age, can't you only wear, I don't know. I, this is not a Red Hat Society channel, but, like, I'm pretty sure you can only wear, like, certain colors depending on your age, but I can't remember. Yeah, over 50 years old. The Heart is Nails, Queen of Hearts. This is pretty. It's inspired by, guess what, you guys? The Queen of Hearts. And it is a black to red chrome base with chameleon flakes. And it shows as a rainbow of colors. 200 are available. This is cool. See, I love a black to red multi-chrome. And I love that they added stuff to it. Because I already have like plain black to red stuff. So this is fun. Why did they scribble out the bottom? That's what I would like to know. I like this. I think I'm going to add this to my wish list. Um, my favorite part of these videos is you lightly roasting the inspirations. Well, maybe if they... <laughs> We're better about it. I I know they can't post the pictures, but sometimes some of the inspirations are so weird. Oh my God, look at this. Atomic Polish Selkie. That's instantly going on the wish list. Shut up. It is inspired by a Celtic and Norse myth mythological being that can shapeshift from a seal to a human by removing its seal skin. Ew. Disgusting. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every time the Red Hat ladies were mentioned on this channel, I do talk about them a lot. I don't know. I, when I was a kid, I just remember seeing them once in a cottage in pizza and being fascinated by them. And now I just think about them all the time. I don't, don't ask. Um, it's a bright purple based polish filled with Aurora pigment that shifts orange gold to pink. Opaque in two coats. And I'm into it. I'm living for it. This isn't like my favorite kind of purple. I'm gonna buy that one for sure. This is Baroness X Deadly Waters Fluid Nail Art Polish. I bought one of these fluid nail art polishes like last year and I was like, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a live stream. And you know what I haven't done yet? A video or a live stream on it. So I don't want to buy any more because I don't know if I can, I don't know how to use these very well. So, or at all really. So I'm going to pass on this one until I get my life together. This is just a base coat. I don't know why I opened this because I don't really care about the base coats or the top coats. I, I just, I have the base coats and the top coats that I like, but this one is scented. What is the scent? It is a, ew, it's peppermint. Oh, I hate the smell of peppermint. I cannot stand peppermint at all. So that's a definite no. Ooh, this is your first polish pickup ever. Oh my gosh, get ready to be obsessed because my first polish pickup, I was like, okay, maybe I won't do this every month, but you know, every here and there, and I've done it, I've, I've skipped one month since I started doing this two years ago. Only one, so get ready to get hooked. BCB Lacquers Rise from the Ashes. Uh, I'm 64, but you won't catch this chick in a Red Hat Society Club. Let's make a cooler club. I think that would be better. Because honestly, those outfits are kind of hideous. Um, inspired by Phoenix. It's a dark blue base with a strong red, gold, green, 
shifting shimmer and loaded with large particle hollow 300 are available i'm looking at this and i'm like wow this is really pretty but then i think about the two really dark green hollows that i have from hollow taco and i don't really wear those very often so i feel like i wouldn't wear this one very often but it is stunning if you're into these kind of colors oh my gosh this looks like it's glowing oh my gosh Bo Rev's Lacquer, A Mermaid Has No Tears. Uh, I'm a little miffed that PPU and the Mooncat Sale are on the same day. How to prioritize and budget. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought I was going to buy from the Mooncat Sale. And then they like talked about how it wasn't going to be when it originally was thought. And then I forgot about it. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, let's see. This is inspired by the famous fairy tale Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. A vibrant blue-green shifting base with iridescent and multi-chrome color shifting flakes and hollow sparkle. No cap. I love this. Look at these flakes. This is very mermaidy. I will be adding this to the wish list. Let's see. I think old ladies have the God-given right to dress as tacky as they want. If you could see how I'm dressed right now, how tacky I'm dressed right now, I'm wearing a Shrek t-shirt that's like two sizes too big and crushed velvet pants so do with that information what you will i want to join the swampy green snarky hat society all right bedford and grove on the shores of the lock um <laughs> i left stephanie's stream for this you better be worth it hillary you know what nick maybe we didn't want you here just kidding i love you nick please stay um I didn't know she, oh my god, dude. I keep accidentally streaming at the same time as her. I did not check to see if she was streaming. Uh, this is inspired by the folklore surrounding Loch Ness. It is a vibrant green base with a copper gold shimmer. Did you guys see they did like a huge search for Nessie at Loch Ness recently? And they definitely, they didn't find her. So what can you do? Um, but I don't know. I feel like this is a color that is easily dupable. So I probably have like nine of them in my collection. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Oh, this is fun. I love Danny Vienna. Um, I'm not sure how to say this. Is it Nana Nene? Nope. N I don't know. I don't know how that accent goes. It is inspired by the Invisible City show on Netflix. Uh, it is a clear to black thermal. Oh, it's a thermal. But I think I buy thermals now. I had a ban on myself to buy thermals, but now I just do what I want. Um, blue Aurora Shimmer. Mix of blue iridescent flakes, blue metallic flakes, and black flakes. There are 400 available. That sweater looks cozy. I don't know if I like the thermal flip. I like the dark color, but I'm not sure I want the lighter color. Um... <laughs> we have the technology to find sea creatures. <laughs> this is, it's really pretty, but I don't think that I would reach for it before it dies. Oh my gosh, I want this, but I know that I have like three other polishes that look like this, all from Vanessa Molina. <laughs> this is Vanessa Molina's Once Upon a Time. This reminds me of Silencio Bruno, which I recently bought. Maybe this is like a little bit darker, but... Her flakies are so intense. Uh, this is Ultramarine Jelly Base, Iridescent Flakes, Navy Blue Holographic Glitter in various sizes, Holographic Flake, and Purple Metal Flake. It's like I'm really tempted, but I know. I 100% know I have something like this. So we just gotta... We just gotta say no. <laughs> but now you can have four? That is a great point. I'm going to put it on my wish list and I'm going to look at the one that I have just to see because this is really, I'm going to think about this for a long time if I don't. Cadillacer, kiss me. Now, I love pictures like this because I'm like, wow, look at all those colors. But you know, nobody can make it look like that. Like, there's no way. There's no way it looks like that for real. Um, hey, polished mess. Ah, uh, inspired by the frog prints. A green to teal to blue to purple to magenta multichrome base with a gold magnetic pull. 630 are available. It is really pretty, but I, I just don't think it's going to look the way I think it's going to look. 
<laughs> I'm 68 and still feel like 18 more often than that. Dude, one of my friends, she was, I think she was 31 when she got pregnant, like last year. And when she told me she got pregnant, I was like, oh my God, she got teen pregnant. Like, I just forget that we're not all like 15 anymore. I just, <laughs> I don't, age doesn't really exist in my head. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm going to pass on this, even though it is really pretty. I'm also just kind of over magnetics, if I'm going to be honest with you. They're too finicky. They're too hard to deal with. I love them. I love the magnetics I have, but I just don't feel drawn to any right now. Cameo Color Lacquer's Fairy Fantasy. Inspired by an ethereal and whimsical fairy world. It is a cerulean base with a hint of scattered hollow sparkle, full of pink, red, copper, green, shifting shimmer, rainbow microflakes, and silver hollow microflakes. Hmm. I don't think... I, this is like a... What kind of blue is this? I mean, they said it was cerulean, but like, it's just like not my kind of blue. I like a more rich blue. I do like that shimmer though. Oh, this makes me miss my long nails. I just broke all, like three of my nails and then I had to cut the rest of them because... I didn't want to walk around with weird mismatched nails. Yeah, I'm going to pass on this. <laughs> Watching 16 and pregnant thinking, oh God, hope that doesn't happen to me. I'm 32. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like whenever my friends are like, I'm getting married or like I'm having a baby. I'm like, guys, we're 12. What are you doing? And then I remember that we are in fact not 12. Cattail candied fairies. Okay, we got a lot of text. This purple polish has shimmers of pink, purple, and blue. It is has shifty purple flakes with flashes of silver, pink, and green. It also glows in the dark, a lovely purple blue. I like that they chose to say it like that. I love the glow on this. It's really fun. But this color, this like really lilac-y color, I'm just super not into. So I'm gonna pass. I feel like magnetics are only worth it if you take them to the salon and let the pros do it. Yeah, I I feel the same way. <laughs> Nick. Okay, everyone, take a shot each time there's a new spelling of fairy. Honestly, with fantasy stuff, I'm just like, can we just all agree to spell stuff one way? I, I can't. I can't handle fantasy. It, it stresses me out. When when you put a map in your book, when you have to put like a glossary of terms, I'm like, okay, I, I can't. Ooh, this is fun. Chameleon Nails, Spring in Rivendell. Inspired by Lord of the Rings and the beautiful home of the elves, Rivendell, it is a tri-thermal going from navy to plum slash magenta to bright green. What is the difference between warm and very warm? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> Um, it has golden green silver iridescent flakes and silver holographic glitters in various sizes that add some sparkle. 260 are available. As much as I love the, uh, tri-thermal concept, I have one and it was Shrek inspired. So like, you know, I, I had to have that one, but I feel like a lot of tri-thermals just look so like discombobulated like not like no offense to this maker but i just don't like these colors together uh i like the idea of having three colors but it's just this weird like striped line i don't know if anybody like this is gonna be so random but i don't know if anybody ever saw the the barney movie when it came out but they were like they had this egg that like was getting colored stripes on it. And that's what this reminds me of. Really weird comparison. I don't know. I went and saw the Barney movie as a kid in the theaters. Let's see. <laughs> Almost 55. The big secret is there are really no grownups. Everyone still thinks they are under 30. I'll f I feel that. Uh, I'm 50 and feel like I should live with my parents and have adult supervision. I know. Like, I, I can't believe it's been... It's been like 13, 14 years that I, since I've lived with my parents and I'm still like, what am I doing? Kimmy, it's ugly. I'll say it. Thank you for saying it. I was trying to be polite. Um, Nick, I saw someone in a Facebook group put a magnetic polish on a swatch stick over a magnet for a full 24 hours and the line still spread. Oh my God, that's annoying. Uh, the thermal makes those nails look like candy. It really does. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you remember the egg? I 
think about that Barney egg so much more than I really should. I'm, I have a lot of weird random associations. I'm glad I'm not the only one who saw the Barney movie. <laughs> so this is Cleona and this is Nessie. And it is inspired by Scottish folklore of the Loch Ness Monster, a teal base with icy pink, silver, yellow, lime shifting microflakes. Pink, silver, yellow, lime. That's a lot of shifts, my my guy. Like, it's a little bit icy. I do like that shift, but I feel like I have a polish that looks similar to this from Cleona, but now I can't remember. I'm really tempted to put this on my wish list because I love Cleona. Also, I'm going to, I'm definitely buying the Cleona advent calendar, you guys. It's the only advent I'm going to buy this year, I think. You heard it here first. And then, I don't know. Not sure what shade of green Nessie really is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to add this to the wish list. I'm going to think about it. Ooh, that's pretty. Coloris de Carol, the Lost Diadem. Inspired by a blue diadem. The Lost Diadem is a deep navy blue with red to black multi-chrome shift and holographic flakes. Okay, did anybody know what a diadem was before reading the last Harry Potter book? Because I sure as hell didn't. I, I had to Google, I had to go look up what a diadem was when I was reading that book because I had no idea. Uh, <laughs> this is really fun. It reminds me of the night sky. I... I really like this. I love Caloris to Carol. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, we've got a lot of comments going. Um, there's a lot of icy polishes this month. Yeah, there, there seems to be. Uh, time to get out the swatch sticks for sure. I never watched Barney. You never watched Barney? I love Barney. Barney is the reason why I'm obsessed with crafts, I think. He had a magic bag that had like an endless craft supply in it, and it that's enabled me. My first pass wish list only has six this month. Wow. I, you know, I feel like this month I didn't see much, but I wasn't really sure on on them. You know, it's just like only a couple. When does it go on sale? Do you, Grace, do you mean the Cleona advent? I believe, hang on a second. I set an alarm in my phone to remind me. I'm pretty sure it's this Friday. Oh, no, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is what I have written down. So be ready for that. It's a little over 100 bucks, but you get 12 full-size polishes, I believe. Uh, I bought two yarn advent calendars. Oh my gosh, I would love that. And then, surprised you're not getting the Dom advent. I thought about it, but then I saw the spoilers and nothing like super called to me. I just, I, I don't know. This one's calling to me though, so I think I'm gonna add that to the wish list. Crystal Knockout Stamp Those Goblin Feet. Inspired by the Princess and the Goblin. I wanna know what that is. It is a royal blue to clear thermal with glowing purple shimmer and tons of iridescent color shifting flakes in green, orange, gold, blue, and purple. I don't like the shift in this, so I'm gonna pass, but I absolutely love the name. And uh, I want to know what the Princess and the Goblin is. So if anybody has any insight into that, uh, let me know. When does the Mooncat sale happen? I think it's Friday. Nick, you would know, right? Oh yeah, Friday at 9 a.m. Yeah, get ready. It's going to be insane. Ooh, that's cute. Cupcake polish, Romeo and Juliet. Inspired by the Shakespeare... Folktale. Is is Shakespeare considered a folktale? The Shakespeare folktale Romeo and Juliet. That sounds wrong to me. <laughs> I don't... It's a stage play, right? Like, it's not a folktale. Right? That's weird. I don't know. Purple nail polish filled with blue metallic flakies and blue pink aurora shimmer. Um, This is cute, despite my issue with this Ugh. yeah i want that let's add that let's see jj babbles yeah i i agree like i do feel a little bit overwhelmed by all the polish that i have so that's why i'm doing my d stash and that's actually helped me quite a bit I ordered the Dom Advent, skipped the Cadillacra one. The Cadillacra one is way too expensive. And they don't even name the polishes, which annoys me for some reason. 
the play? Yeah, the play. It's a folk tale, but it, no, it's not. It's a tragedy, not a folk tale. Yeah, it's got folks in it. This is my thing. I feel like some of these people really stretch on the uh, the inspo. Cuticula's cold hearted, inspired by the Snow Queen. See, this goes with the inspiration. Snow Queen is probably in the fairy tale realm. Some of the inspirations we're reaching this month. Some of the inspirations are reaching every month. You know what my secret... Th my conspiracy is that a lot of these brands have like a bunch of premixes just made up. And then they see how they can shoehorn them in whenever they need to. I don't know. Subtle mint base with strong large particle pink, green, gold, shifting shimmer, and silver holographic flakes. <laughs> this is really pretty I will never wear it I can already tell I would never wear this as much as I'm like I love this in the bottle I don't need it oh the Taylor Swift ones don't don't talk bad about the Taylor Swift ones Nick will come for you he's a Swifty uh, <laughs> so yeah I can't I cannot justify buying this although I do love it ooh the Dom is cute if it fits, I slip. Inspired by Cinderella's glass slipper. It's aqua bl blurple, aqua blurple, bleh. shifting shimmer with ultra holographic blue and silver glitters with silver reflective glitters that come alive under bright lights. 600 are available. This one's really fun. Um, uh, but I can see like the tips of people's nails in like every single swatch. So I feel like it doesn't have the coverage that I desire from something like this. Yeah, see, look at, you can see the tips on it. And some of these, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's see, I listened to two girls talking about the Martian and claim it based on a real event. So Romeo and Juliet being a folk doesn't seem so far off. I feel like there's like, there is like a definition to what a folk tale is. I can't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure that Romeo and Juliet does not fit that vibe. This is Danglefoot Nail Polish, The Other Mother. Let's see. Inspired by Coraline, a sister polish to Buttons for Eyes, also inspired by Coraline. Um, am I the only one who remembers calling it Blue Violet? Yeah, I hate the word blurple. It makes me want to gag. I, I don't know why. Like, I don't like the letter P. I, like, the way it feels to say I hate it, so... Let's see. I only saw Coraline once, and I, again, don't think that Coraline fits the inspo, but, you know, you do you. This is one of those, like, greeny teals that, like, I love a teal, but this one, it, like, almost leans too green, and I can tell this is probably going to stain like a beast, so if you don't like stained nails, definitely don't buy this one <laughs> dark and twisted lacquer the kraken i love that uh inspired by the myth of the kraken and does it really exist but there is no question mark so we i guess it's just a statement the polish is a navy blue base with red pink shimmer red flakes and some scattered red micro glitters 150 are available what do we think about the Kraken? Do we think it's just like a giant squid that a bunch of sailors saw and then freaked out a little bit because they've never seen anything and they would die from drinking a McDonald's Sprite? Like, is it like that kind of a thing? Or is the Kraken real? Wait, what, Nick? Nick Googled it and Ro Romeo and Juliet was a folktale before Shakespeare made it into a play, allegedly. I hate that. Never mind. I take back all of the things that I said against cupcakes. Sorry. Romeo and Juliet is a cover song. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, big squid. It was probably a big squid. I don't love a royal purple, so I'm going to pass. That's pretty. Devine Lacquer, Cinderella, Cinderella. My dad used to sing this in like the most obnoxious voice when I was a kid. Inspired by Cinderella, it is a pale blue base with a shiny, slightly metallic, pinky purple, silver green shifting shimmer. People just say colors at this point. People just say a ton of colors and expect me to believe them. And I do because I'm not going to figure it out. Um, he based the 
play on a folktale. So I don't know how much that means you... Okay, you know, I'm going to have to look this up afterwards because I'm stressed about it. Hey, Atticus. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Um, yeah, this one is absolutely stunning. Would I wear it? I don't know because I shy away from these types of colors. However, I want it. So I'm going to put it on the wish list. Only 10% of the world's oceans have been explored. So I'll say the Kraken is probably real and it's probably a really big squid. Dude, the ocean, when I was a kid, I thought space was scary. As in a, being an adult, this is how you know you're old, okay? We were talking about being old earlier. How you know you're old is when you become afraid of the ocean over space. Uh, that's my that's my theory. Okay, so we added that. Oh, that's pretty too. DRK Nails, watch out. Inspired by Little Red Riding Hood, Walking in the Woods. Watch out mixes two different 5D magnetic pigments, whatever that means. I don't make nail polish. You expect me to just know what this means? That's the other thing. Sometimes brands will put like, we use this type of pigment and this type of pigment. And I'm like, I'm not in the industry. I don't know what this means. Make up something that I'm going to understand. Large particle size Aurora, sapphire to violet, and red glitter flakes. Uh, when I saw the inspo picture, which I didn't see the inspo picture, I just fell in love. Blue, purple, and red are my favorite colors. And I don't want to read all that. 400 are available. Hi, Bonquette. I love your name, by the way. Oh, where? what are you going as for Halloween? I haven't dressed up for Halloween in a long time. <laughs> Lisa, I'm not old after all. See, we're all young until we're terrified of the ocean, I guess. This is really pretty. Wait, is it magnetic? Yeah, it's. I literally read the word magnetic. 5D, yeah, it it just, it sounds fake. I, I feel like, what is 5D? I need somebody to tell me. Because I thought we were only on 3D. I didn't realize I we skipped over 4 and went to 5. This is really pretty though, so I'm gonna pretend like it's not magnetic and not care about the magnetic aspect of it. And just, I would wear it without the magnetic. I still need to cheat seat, cheat for some of the ingredients. Yeah, it's just too much. Did I, oh. Okay, I thought I clicked on something and messed everything up, but I think I'm fine. Buzzwords, for sure. Oh, I will not wear this. Ember Nail Lacquer. I'm going to skip the German word and just say Snow White. Inspired by... I, that is German, right? I don't know. I only know, like, Asian languages on site. It takes you to another dimension. Yes, for real. I've been chilling in my skeleton. Yeah, I saw, you, I saw you on Instagram in your skeleton onesie. I was obsessed. Uh, inspired by 1812 Brothers Grim, 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 Snow White is slightly different than the fairy tale we know today. In the original story, it was Snow White's mother, not stepmother, that was very jealous of her. Apparently we were hating on step-parents. Um, also the seven dwarves didn't receive names until 1912. What? That's BS. Um, silvery white base with beautiful tiny flakes of glitter and slight green hue. Looks like snow glistening from the sun on a wintry day. A hundred are available. It absolutely does look like snow, and I hate snow. So this is a absolute no for me. I don't wear white polishes ever, almost. So yeah, we're going to pass. Okay, thank you. I thought it was German, but like my European language ability is is gone. I, uh, I studied... I studied French in high school, and then after that I was like, I didn't like it, and so I went into Japanese instead. Uh, by getting ready, I mean putting on a witch's hat and putting candy in a bowl. That's enough for me. <laughs> um, oh, Princess and the Goblin is a classic fantasy book where goblins have weak feet, so you can defeat them by stepping on their feet. I love it. I'm going to look that up. Emily Damali, Grim Demise, inspired by Hansel and Gretel. A bright purple jelly base with green to blue shifting iridescent micro glitters. 320 are available. When I was a kid, this is how fat I am. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with Hansel and Gretel because I wanted to eat that house too. Like, I'm, I'm them. I understand. Like, if I saw a candy house, first thing I'd do is just start eating them out of house and home. Hi, Deanna. Happy Halloween to you too. This is stunning. Now I just want candy. Guys, I ate so much candy today. I ate a bunch of licorice and and Kit Kat, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up because uh, I did not eat anything substantial. 
So you have that is going on the wish list. Envy Lacquer, Help It Grow. Inspired by Krista from Fern Gully in the Mushroom Forest. Did you guys watch Fern Gully? I loved this movie as a kid. I haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, green to yellow micro flaky base with green reflective glitter and red to green Aurora Shift. 200 are available. I forgot about this movie, actually. I really liked the music in it. But this is not my kind of green... So I will pass on this. I just don't like these like lighter, kind of mintier greens. Let's see. I'm in a unicorn onesie and I'm managing a whole grocery store. Oh, nobody dressed up at my work either, but I work in a more like kind of conservative type of work environment. So I wasn't surprised. Also, I'm the only American at my entire office. So like nobody else really celebrates it. Uh, I heard a version where the stepsisters cut parts of their feet off to fit the glass slipper. Oh, the Cinderella? Yeah, I've heard that one too. I could easily be tricked with a candy house. You and me both. Like, it's just, I would, I would easily get turned into soup over a candy house. <laughs> Eating Laffy Taffy. I love Laffy Taffy. Is it the one with the jokes on it? Um, <laughs> let's see. Ethereal Lacquer Ether Dragon. Inspired by dragons. Pale and sheer lilac base full of large particle shimmer that shifts green aqua to blue. I've never been like a dragon person. I have some friends like all like all my friends are huge nerds. Like we're all just like kind of like a nerd group. And when I was in college, like I had some friends who were like obsessed with like the dragon statues, you know, that you go to that weird sword store at the mall and they sell like fairy and dragon statues like those types of people. I don't, I just can't get into it. This is really pretty, but I feel like it would need to be, oh, well, here it is layered over something. I like it at this angle, but like this more pinky version, I'm just not obsessed. Okay, well, you should share the jokes with us if they're any good. I love the Laffy Taffy jokes. They're always so stupid. Garden Path Lacquers, I forgive you. Let's see. Inspired by my very favorite... And most underrated character from The Last Unicorn, Molly Grew. I never saw that. That's a movie, right? I, I feel like I've heard of it. A brown jelly base filled with rose gold holographic micro glitter. And bright blue Aurora Shimmer. Hmm. Interesting. I wish it was darker brown. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it's a little bit too sandy looking. And it's... It looks like it's hard to photograph. Like, it's just super shiny. Hmm. I like Garden Path Lacquers, but I just... I feel like if this was, like, a slightly darker brown, I'd be into it. Oh, there is one dark brown on here that I do want. It's a uh, Bigfoot-themed. Glisten and Glow, Mistress of All Evil. Um, this one is inspired by Sleeping Beauty's villain Maleficent when she transforms into a dra Wait, she transforms into a dragon? I don't know anything about that's like the one Disney movie I don't think I've ever seen anything about that. <laughs> Smoky dark purple base loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift green, pink, or green, purple, and pink. Um, it does like look kind of like a standard multi-chrome. I definitely have this this multi-chrome colorway on your list for this month. Don't know the inspiration, but it's different and pretty. Yeah, this is very pretty. Um but like I said, I feel like I have this kind of, uh, what do you call it? Multi-chrome. So I think I'm going to pass. I saw a live swatch of the garden path one and it looks so sparkly. Yeah. It looks like it was so sparkly that it was almost hard to capture on camera because the sparkles were just like blown up in the camera's face. Graceful nail polish, sugar plum dance. Hmm. I like the pink, but I don't like that tone of purple. It's just not my vibe. Inspired by the Sugar Plum Fairy, it is a, oh, it's another trithermal, hot pink to violet, pink to purple, with purple, blue, and pink, ultra chrome chameleon flakes. 180 are available. Like I said, this is just not my kind of purple. I don't know what it is about this kind of, like, dustier, deep purple, but I just have never liked it. We had a friend in college got married, and she had, like, that color train on her wedding dress. And I was like, I don't care for that. Hearts and Promises, Once Upon a Starry Night. Inspired by A Starry Night. Can we can we talk about that inspo? 
How is that fairy tales and folklore? I just, I don't get it. Like, I just want them to follow the inspiration. There's a point to this, right? Like, that's why we do this. Um, black Scattered Hollow Base Polish with Aqua Sparkles and Blue Shimmer. 300 are available. These are kind of grainy photos. I think this is not my vibe. It's just, it's one of those, like, I don't want to buy something that's, like, super easily dupable from Polish Pickup. Because Polish Pickup is not cheap. I mean, 13 bucks minimum for each one. It is really pretty, but I feel like I just have something like it. I do think it does look like a starry night, despite me feeling like the inspiration is not fitting, but I digress. Oh, that's fun nail art. Hit the bottle polishes, elf respect. I don't know why, uh, but I just don't ever want to buy stamping polish anymore. Like I have so much that I barely use, so I'm gonna just pass, but this is a fun green. I do like it. Oh my God, this is my weakness. <laughs> Indie by Patty Lopez, Forest Protector. Inspired by, is it Curupira? It's Brazilian folklore. Green base with red, gold, green, Aurora Shimmer, black microflakes, and iridescent flaky. Oh, good luck at work. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you, Laura, for coming. Uh, 300 are available. Uh, I love it so much when makers decide the theme is optional. It stresses me out. Like, I get so mad, and then I'm like, trying to be kind of polite in my video because people get mad if I get too snarky in the in the comments. They're like, you need to be nicer than blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, all right. If you don't want the snark, don't come. But yeah, I, I want this. And I, I'm pretty sure I have like three polishes by this brand that look like this. Um, yeah, I have to get that. They added once upon to fake fitting. Yeah, for real. Oh my gosh. You're too much of a rule follower. That's why it bothers you when they don't follow the theme. I love following rules. I'm obsessed with following rules. Give me directions. I will follow them. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, this is... I, I, I know I've got like nine that look like this, but I don't care. Jen and Barry's off the hookah. What is this? Uh, Alice in Wonderland? Yes. Caterpillar by from Alice in Wonderland. Um... People wouldn't be ready for my YouTube channel. Just flat out bullying. Yeah, Nick, that's why you don't have a YouTube channel. You get banned instantly. Prussian blue, small particle, linear holographic with a subtle silver to aqua shifting shimmer, gunmetal microflakes, and holographic flakes. 400 are available. Now, bird loves paint. I'm pretty sure you're the one who is like the color expert, right? Like, didn't you go to school for color? When they say like all these like fancy uh, like color words, does that stress you out or is it pretty accurate? Because I feel like for me, who has no insight into color, I have no idea what's going on. This is really pretty. Uh, I like this blue. And I feel like Jen and Berries does this kind of formula really well. So I'm gonna add that to the wish list. <laughs> Uh, I love Indy Lopez and I've always wanted to try more polish. I think, yeah, hers are 11 milliliters. So they, you go through them pretty fast if you, if you really like the polish. I have a couple that are definitely showing some fill lines. Kimmy, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. That's something my granddad would say, but I like that. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like I thought Prussian blue was darker, but I guess I don't really know. Gior Couture, Crick Crack. This is in Haiti. When Haitians tell a story of folklore, they call out Crick and the eager listeners answer Crack. Red, copper, green, gold, magnetic with hollow turquoise micro glitter. So even though this isn't like directly inspired by a specific folk tale or fairy tale or anything, I like this inspiration because it's still related. I think that's really cool. Um, at least for, you know, for the name. So this is, I don't like the glitters in it. I think that the color shift is, is really pretty, but those glitters just feel really out of place to me, a little bit too chunky. So I think I'm gonna pass. That's why I, I thought it was darker. 
Yeah, and the magnetic is really pushing me away because I, I just am done dealing with magnetic. I got too much to do. I don't have time to magnetize things. Kathleen & Co. Is it Loop Guru? Guru? Oh, also known as the Rougarou in Cajun folklore. It is a creature with a man's body and the head of a werewolf that roams the Louisiana swamps. It has a deep emerald base with a glowy blue shimmer. That has an emerald base? I guess you can kind of see it on the outskirts of the nail. That looks really cool, mattified. But I can definitely see some nail. It's very jelly-ish. This is a really pretty picture though. But I can see it like sometimes with these kind of jelly-ish polishes, you can see this weird like halo of nail line. And I don't love that look, especially on the tips because it, it ends up looking like it's wearing down. And because my nails are so short right now, it's even worse. So I will pass on that, but it is a stunning color. Head of a werewolf, isn't that just a wolf? I, I guess so. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's a relief that magnets, magnetics are an instant no for me now. Yeah, I just feel like I was really into them for a hot second. And now I'm just like, uh, these are more trouble than they're worth because they just spread out so fast. And look, we got another magnetic right here. KB Shimmer, bound to happen. Inspired by <laughs> fantasy books. Can you believe it? Um, I feel like that's a lot to read. It is a magnetic polish with magical color shifts. Without the magnet, a deep navy base accents shades of violet, pink, and golden green. When hit with a magnet, the deep blue base shifts between deep indigo leaning navy, royal blue, and even teal. With the magnetic pull showing off bold fuchsia pink and magical colors shifts in rose, gold, and green. A hint of holographic sparkle completes this mythical nail polish best in two coats. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when your color description is this long, I've already forgotten what the beginning was. So I don't know what color this is supposed to be. Um, I'm retired and I don't have time for magnetic seat. Yep, it's tough. Let's see. It's pretty, but as Grace put it, don't have time. We don't have time for this. I've got cross stitching to do, you know? Oh my, that's interesting. Crisable Designs, the princess needs some peas and quiet. Inspired by the princess and the pea. I loved that story as a kid. Pale pink base with strong red, orange, gold shimmer and green gold multi-chrome flakes. 250 are available. I like this. I don't like the shimmer. I just feel like this will end up looking really weird on my skin. I feel like we could play color bingo to see how many colors are in one polish. Yeah, I'm like, you got too much going on. I can't, I can't even think anymore. Yeah, if this didn't have that such a strong shimmer, I think I would really like just the flakes and the base color. But with the shimmer, I'm not like a super huge fan. Oh, this one's weird. Alicia's Lacquer Deer Woman. Um, this is a thermal, so I probably won't get it, but it is a uh, part of Ojibwe mythology. She's often depicted to be a spirit in the woods and is a protector of women and children. That's cool. Thermal clear to black polish with pink and gold flakes, as well as black micro glitters. 250 are available. Again, I just like these, these, this size glitter. I don't know why. Like I love a really big glitter and I love a really small glitter, but this weird like middling size i'm not a huge fan of i love those flakes though look how big that flake is i love that uh i think i'm gonna pass let's see i do near exclusive skittle manny so i'm okay with doing a magnetic for one to three fingers yeah i feel like whenever i do wear a magnetic i only magnetize my ring finger as like a accent nail is that do people still do accent nails i feel like that was like so 2010. I love how unique the crystal. Yeah, it is really unique. It's just one of those where I know it's going to look so creepy on my skin tone. So I have to pass. Lily pad lacquer. Oh, whimsical one. Inspired by fairies. Nick, we've got fairy with an E right here for you. Uh, vibrant lavender crelly with pink, purple, green, gold, blue, white chameleon flakes. One, two, three, four, five, six colors. Um, looks like there's no cap. 
I like this purple. This is fun. I don't have anything from Lily Pad Lacquer. I haven't tried them. Maybe I will. Let's add that. That's a fun, that's a fun purple. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. Ooh, look at that glow. Lucky 13 lacquer. Have fun storming the castle. Inspired by the Princess Bride. It is a dark smoky lavender base with black red color shifting micro flakes for the dress buttercup wears and the man in black's outfit. I've only seen this movie once, so I forgot who these people are. And stunning azure lilac, magenta orange gold, color shifting shimmer. Glows aqua in the dark. Oh my gosh, a lot of colors. Um... I like the blue glow, but I feel like there's so many colors that it's almost like muddy. Like I'm getting like lost in the sauce, you know? So I'm going to pass on this one. Let's see. I have a movie that's titled Deer Woman. It's so bad and so good. I love like, is it like a horror movie? I love really bad horror movies. Me and my boyfriend love to watch just like some of the worst movies and just laugh at them. Luna Lab Creations LLC, Ember Wing, inspired by the phoenix as it rises from the ashes on a starry night. That's a very specific time. Blue reflective glitters with orange to gold shimmer on a smoky get background. I don't know. Smoky jet background? I don't know. Uh, 150 are available. This is... It's really pretty. I like the reflect, like the blue reflective. Um, but I don't know. I think the blue reflective against that base color looks a little bit odd for me. I love glow in the dark polish. Me too. Glow in the dark is one of those gimmicks that I will like live and die by. Like in my office that I'm in right now, I have the glow in the dark stars all over the ceiling because I just love, 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 love glow-in-the-dark stuff smoky gel uh, smoky gel background i don't know i can't tell i <laughs> i don't know what that word was supposed to be i guess i'm gonna pass on this oh that's an interesting color linby designs foolish flame inspired by the origin of the jack-o-lantern and the will-o'-the-wisp it is a burnt orange base with pink to red to orange shifting shimmer. Um, it's really pretty. Oh, I like this with the flowers. That's cute. Very pumpkiny orange. Would have been really good to be wearing today. Smoky gray. Maybe a smoky gray. Um, this is really pretty, but I feel like oranges like this um kind of make my hands look a little funny. Which I guess doesn't matter, but I don't know. I really like this orange though. I think I'm gonna add it to the wish list. Oh, that's fun. MJ Lacquer Oz. This is inspired. <laughs> I thought it was gonna say it's inspired by like the TV show Oz, and I was like, that's not folklore. No, it's inspired by the Wizard of Oz, which I guess is kind of fairy tale-ish, right? A uh, black base with sprinkles of lime reflective glitter, a rainbow of color shifting iridescent flakes, along with multicolored Aurora shimmer. 200 are available. This is really pretty, but I have a lot of black based polishes with these like crazy colorful flakes. I like bought one last month. I know I did from, um, I forgot who. I think it was uh, Fancy Gloss. I think I bought one from Fancy Gloss. And it's like a little bit darker of a base. So I don't think I need another one so soon. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. Monarch Lacquer. I feel like Monarch and Beau Revs really are killing it. They're like brand new, but not brand new, you know, because they were Fair Maiden together. And now they've gone to their own separate brands. And everything I see from them is really, really pretty. Inspired by a lyric from the healing incantation verse sung by Rapunzel in the movie Tangled, a sparkly punk punchy pink with fuchsia, hollow micro glitter, and pink orange green micro flake. This is a really fun pink. I bet my grandma would like this. She only wears pink nail polish. So this is kind of a vibe. I think I'm gonna add that. That's really fun. I think I added the bow revs too, didn't I? Yeah, it is really gorgeous. The sweet and sour shade is probably 
your top pick. I did happen to take a little looky-loo, a little glance at that one. And I like that one too, but I love Sweet and Sour. Although, Sweet and Sour just released a collection that is based off of poop. And I, I don't, I don't love that. <laughs> take a sip every time Hillary says, ooh, that's fun. That I say that like all day, every day. I'm like, ooh, that's fun. I don't know why. I don't know. I get stuck on like one phrase for a while. And then that's all I say for like two years. And then I find a new one. I just, I really want to say it again. <laughs> I want to say, ooh, that's fun. Moonshine Manny, Arwen and Aragorn. Um, inspired by the love story of Arwen and Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings books. Arwen and Aragorn is a regal... Regal blurpy, blurple. Can it really be regal and blurple? I don't know about that. Jelly, glowing with pink, gold, green shimmer and sapphire iridescent flakes. This one is stunning. And I love it. And it's going on the wish list. It does look a little bit dark in this picture, but I feel like it's kind of, kind of the vibe. <laughs> it's fun to point out fun things because that's fun. <laughs> I'm not buying from PPU this month. Nothing really hits me as must-haves. And I know... I'm going to do damage with the Black Friday sales. Yeah, I have, I haven't really looked at the Black Friday sales. I saw a couple brands are like already advertising Black Friday sales. And I was like, whoa, relax. I wish I love this color so much because I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. I love Lord of the Rings, but I love the movies. I, I just could not read the books. <laughs> MTK designs seeing unicorns. Inspired by unicorns being freed from the sea at the end of the last unicorn. Spo Why would you put spoilers at the end of that? <laughs> put spoilers at the beginning. Because if I read all this and then I read spoilers, well, now I'm spoiled. Girl. Okay. First of all, what are they doing in the sea? That's what I would like to know. I... I'm never going to watch it, so I guess it's fine that they spoiled that weird plot point for me. Sorry to everybody who was really dying to not get spoiled about The Last Unicorn. <laughs> um, a bright magenta pink jelly swimming with pink gold shimmers. A splash of cold, I'm, I'm assuming that should have been gold, copper pink flakies, and spritzed with electric blue purple sparkles. What does that mean to be spritzed in a nail polish? This is really cute. It's very metallic-y. I like it. This is another one that just makes me think of my grandma. <laughs> um, I don't think I want it though. I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It looks a little bit sheer in some photos. Had to read Lord of the Rings for eighth grade. It was okay, movies were okay. There's something about how cheesy and dramatic the movies are that I just get so sucked into. And yet, I, tr I tried to read the books and I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't get... The older style, I just can't read like that. Oh my god, it's like over 30 years old. The spoiler window has closed. Okay, as long as I didn't ruin it for anybody. Like, I didn't I didn't know how old it was. So I'm glad that it's, like, ancient. Uh, this is Music City Beauty Rumpelstiltskin. It is, in fact, inspired by Rumpelstiltskin. It is a moss green jelly base filled with copper to green aurora shimmer and silver holographic flakes. 150 are available. What do you guys think? You already know. You already know that I want this. I love it. I, I'm i only vaguely familiar with the Rumpelstiltskin uh, fairy tale. But I'm just like, what a name. That's a wild name to have, you know? Um, yeah, I love that. Nailed it, fairy dance. Okay, we got fairy back to not not with the E. Inspired by Fantasia, like the Disney movie Fantasia. That's one I never saw. I just thought that it looked boring. <laughs> it is a minty green leaning teal with a copper pink to gold to green shifting shimmer. 300 are available. <laughs> Let's calm down with calling things that are 30 ancient. Hey, I'm 31, so... But I just mean, like, like media. People can be 30 and you're just, like, your normal age. But, like, I just feel like a movie that's 30 and then you're putting spoiler warnings on it, that does feel pretty ancient, right? Like, that's a little bit wild. 
I think I saw, was it, uh, oh my gosh, the guy who played Bilbo in the new Hobbit movies, Martin Freeman, he was like starting to talk about in an interview, some, some plot point of the movie and some guy was like, no spoilers, no spoilers. And it's like, bro, these movies, these books have been out for like a billion years. This is a really pretty color, by the way. We're talking about nail polish. <laughs> um, but it's too minty, icy. I, I would never wear it. Fantasia was your friend's favorite movie growing up. Was your friend like a Disney adult? Like no shade to the Disney, maybe a little bit of shade to the Disney adults. But I feel like Disney adults are the only people who can appreciate that movie because to me, it's just so boring. It's like, I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. And here we go. Night Owl Lacquer, Bigfoot Believes in You. That one, instant ad. This is inspired by the Bigfoot folklore of Washington. Dark brown with copper, gold, green, shifting, crystal chameleon flakes, aqua green crystal flakes, and holographic flecks. Looks like there's no cap, so that's good news for all of us. Um, it's, it's just stunning. I love a goofy brown. That's fun. Oh, we got a matte, that looks nice. Yeah, this will be great for fall. Yeah, the Bigfoot polish is so pretty. Anything based on a cryptid, I'm here for. I love Mothman. I love Bigfoot. Oh. <laughs> I need this one. No idea why. She you were a Little Mermaid fan. I, I liked uh, Little Mermaid too, but I'm trying to think what my favorite Disney movie was. I guess I was more of a Pixar kid, really. <laughs> I want to believe. Same. Yeah, this is definitely, this will be a definite buy for sure. I only have a couple night owls, so. Oh my gosh, I've already got 19 on my wish list. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, this is the Taylor Swift polish, isn't it? Noodles nail polish, old cardigan. Inspired by the cardigan from Taylor Swift's music video for the folklore album hit, Cardigan. This is one where I'm like, definitely a stretch on the inspo, but also... You, I can, I can respect it. I love the stars. I love a star glitter. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, I think that's, is that Stacy? I think that's my friend. Um, I know that Nick's Polish will definitely be buying this. I know that my friend Pi definitely said she wanted it because they, yeah. Oh, Nick shaking. There he is. I... I, I thought it was so funny that they were like, yeah, well, folklore of the album. It's a clear base topper, can be built up in three coats with mini silver hollow stars, matte white, metallic navy, silver hollow and blue green iridescent glitters, hollow biker flakes and a touch of hollow shimmer. I recommend wearing a glitter smoothing top coat plus one regular top coat. Yeah, this is really funny. Um, I think that this is the one that I'll like allow them to stretch. Is there three? I think there's... There are a few Taylor polishes, but I remember I saw this one and I sent it to Nick and he was like, he like sent me a voice message of him just screaming. And I was like, okay, thank you for that. Loved that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get it. I'm not, a, I'm not a Taylor stan, um, but it's definitely fun. It's super pretty and reminds me of the navy and white china plates, but I will literally never wear it. The navy and white china plates are my favorite. I'm obsessed with those plates. When I was a kid, that's what we ate off of. And I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with that china pattern. I'm pretty sure I know which one you're talking about because it's like a really popular one. And now every time I see anything with that pattern on it, I want it. <laughs> Nick, shut up, you're the worst. Oh, that's cute. Polish Mad Woman, inspired by Mad Woman. Okay, we got another Taylor Swift one. Inspired by Mad Woman from Taylor Swift's Folklore album. Neon clover green packed with aqua green blue shifting aurora pigment. Okay, I really like this. I love polish. Like the brand polish. It looks like it's a little bit, like maybe you got a little bit patchy here. But then on other nails, it looks pretty good. So I might risk it. Let's add that to the wish list. The, yeah, the Willow Pattern Plate. That's the one that I love. They released some Doc Martens that had that Willow Pattern on it. And I wanted them so bad, but they were so expensive. And I was in college and I couldn't afford them. But I just, I don't know why. I just love that pattern for some reason. It's not like, 
it's really cluttered. It's really like messy looking, but it is really pretty. Gotta milk the Swifties dry. Yeah, Nick's gonna buy all the all the Swifty ones. <laughs> Paint it pretty polish. Sparkle like a unicorn. Inspired by unicorns. Um sheer lilac base with pink to gold shimmer, glass flakies, shifting chameleon flakes, and holographic micro flakes. Two hundred are available. You guys, it's five free. Vegan. It's vegan. And cruelty free. This is the only vegan polish. Um <laughs> vegan. Nobody nobody proofreads. Um let's see. This is just not for me, and that's okay. I'm just not a lilac person. Let's see. Do you follow Calamity Wear? Cryptid Bakeware? Are you kidding me? What is that? I have to check that out. Because uh, that sounds hilarious. Oh, this is cute. Uh, Pampered Polish August. What is it? I, I like lost my... It's another folklore polish. Are you guys kidding me? Uh, how... Did somebody say there was three? I just... Alright. The first one was funny, but now we've got too many. Um... Also, I just looked up Calamity Wear, and everybody needs to look that up right now because it's hilarious. Let's see what this polish is about. It is a concrete gray holographic crelly with black flakes, holographic silver flakes, and iridescent flakes. I love it, but I have a polish from 90 lacquer that looks a little bit similar uh don't add it to your wishlist hiller you don't need it i want it but i don't need it there are four taylor ones oh my gosh vegan exclusively famously free of b byproducts i love that being but pronounced like bean that's hilarious um Let's see. Yeah, the docks were so expensive. One, one of my friends in one of my classes, she got them. And I was so jealous of her. Uh, looks like Oreos. Oh, now you've made me want Oreos. Dang it. Look how pretty that is. Those little silver flakies are fun. Nick, I'm not buying it for you. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I want Bigfoot-shaped meatloaf. Oh, Lord. Paradox Polish, Fae All Day. This is precious. Inspired by fairies. <laughs> Thermal, orangey reddish to light. Pink crelly with iridescent flake and black flake. Little pot of hollow stars comes with this polish. I don't need the little pot of hollow stars, but this is really cute. I don't really see much. Like, the thermal is there, vaguely. But it doesn't seem to be, like, super drastic change. There's, these stars are too much. They're way too big. Hey, yo, they got frog plates. Oh my God. That's amazing. Yeah, I like the polish. I'm not a huge fan of the stars, but I want that polish. Penelope Lose the Blue Dragon, inspired by a mystical blue dragon. Um, Intense blue base with iridescent flakies, pink, red, gold. This is fun. Do I need another super flaky blue probably not do i want to add this to my wish list absolutely i love a flaky bomb i don't know what it is i just love flakes so dang much um so yeah i i might get that one i don't know they're another one where i think they're like 11 milliliters so like smaller bottle which uh, i mean i have so much polish it shouldn't matter but sometimes you feel like i'm paying 13 dollars for this tiny bottle i don't know Phoenix Girl Dragon, inspired by the iconic dragon from Shrek. Girl Dragon is a deep chocolate brown base packed with intense violet to pink to red aurora shimmer. 500 are available. Oh, you're a girl dragon. <laughs> I love that movie. This is, is really fun. That, look at that ring. That's cool. Wait, I want the ring more than I want anything else. <laughs> This is a really pretty polish. A true queen. It is it is a stunning polish, but I know that I won't wear it. However, 
you guys should buy it because it is really, really pretty. It's just not my color, but it definitely is the color of the girl dragon. Pinnacle Polish, the Entwood, inspired by Fangorn Forest, a blackened green jelly base with shifting orange, gold, green, aurora shimmer, fine hollow shimmer, and scattered silver micro glitter. 250 are available. This is really pretty. But again, it's like a really deep, dark hollow, and I don't wear them very often. Um, however, I do love it. I like Pinnacle Polish a lot. I... I did a review on them recently on my channel. It didn't do well. My reviews have been doing pretty bad. Um, but I got their like fish. It was like a fish trio. Love it. I love their polishes. Uh, but again, like I'm going to pass on this one specifically just because I don't wear these darker hollows so much. I like a bright. There you go. I like a really bright hollow. Well, this isn't hollow though, is it? Polished for Days, The Wanderer, inspired by an enchanted forest. We're not going to tell you which one, just any one. A bright red glowing base with glowing orange yellow large particle metallic shimmer. I need to take a drink of water. Oh my god, my mouth is parched. Um, I don't usually talk this much. I'm very quiet. Nobody at my job talks ever at all. So I just sit in silence for eight hours and then I come home. And I sit in silence for like four more hours and then Rob comes home and then he talks for an hour and then we go to bed. So I don't talk a lot unless I'm doing videos. This is a really pretty polish. I like polish for days. My friend Stacy, this is like one of her favorite brands and she's like constantly, constantly talking them up to me and I really do like them. I love these pictures. These, are, I think I'm going to add that to the wish list. That's really pretty. I don't usually buy a lot of reds, but lately I've been I've been kind of feeling like maybe getting some reds. And this is a really pretty one. Ooh, look at that. Psych Minerals Shapeshifting in the Moor. Inspired by the Puka. It is a super shifty orange, pink to yellow to green multi-chrome with silver reflective glitter. Only 150 are available. A lot of reflective glitter in this one. I, I think, was it Nick I was talking to last night? Where they said just like a sprinkling, like, like a sprinkling of reflective glitter is all I need. This is a lot. This is intense. It almost looks like, like I look at this, especially when it's silver reflective glitter. And I don't know why, but I'm like, that looks like lice. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, that looks like lice and I don't want that. But a nice little sprinkling is fine. So like the, the hollow taco reflective glitter top coat where it's like a little bit more sparse. I like something like that. Uh, yeah, I think I'll pass. That is a fun um, shift, though. But I do have a few that are shifty like this. Ooh, Rain Dance Lacquer Nixie. Were they, were they in PPU last month? I can't remember. Oh yeah, that that reflective glitter like that does look like TV static. It, it's like it's a lot. Oh my gosh, is your icon over the garden wall? I'm about to go watch that after I finish live streaming. I haven't watched it at all this month and I always watch it in October. Lice are brown? I thought they were white. I don't know. Apparently I have some misinformation 31 years into my life. Um, okay. Then it looks like rice. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I always thought lice were white. This is inspired by Nixie's Siren-like Mer People from Germanic Folklore. It is a navy jelly base that's packed with silver holographic microflakes, larger silver holographic, uh, and then green to gold magnetic pigment, best in two to three coats with a magnet. Oh, yeah, magnetic. Oh, the eggs are white. And then I'm sure everyone's really loving that I'm just like talking about head lice on my channel. I didn't realize that. This is really fun, but like, again, the magnetic, like I love the way it looks magnetized. And so I'll be really devastated when I can't get it to magnetize the way I want. Cause like, you'll see, like it gets a little bit blown out and it's like, it still looks cool, but I don't know. Also these, I don't like that glitter size. Uh, this is a magnetic polish I would get, but the glitter turned me off too long to apply and too long to take off. Yeah. It's just, no, don't Lisa, don't apologize. I'm the one who started talking about lice. <laughs> That's my problem. Um, and I got to learn something new. 
No, yeah, I agree, though. The glitter on this is just, uh, it's just the size of it is, it throws me off. I don't know why. I like a really tiny glitter or a really, really big glitter. Like I said, it's really pretty, but I just, magnets. I can't deal with them. Red Eye Lacquer Lost City, inspired by Atlantis. Oh, my God, the Disney it was Disney, right? The Disney Atlantis movie. I love that movie so much. Leonard Nimoy was in that movie and rest in peace. I miss you, Leonard. But like, I love that movie so, so much. Um, Dusty Steel Blue Crelly with gold green shifting shimmer. 300 are available. It's got this like haze over it that kind of makes it look like it's got a filter because it's just like this like really beautiful hazy green. I like Red Eye Lacquer. I love their logo. I love the little frog. And I feel like I lost a lot of viewers while talking about lies. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this is pretty fun. I'm going to add that to the wish list. This is Rogue Lacquer's Supernatural Roguery. Is that how you say that? Roguery? Uh, that's a lot of text. It is a frighteningly deep blackberry base with a sprinkling of magenta orange flakes, a dash of hollow flakes, and an intense shimmer showing off red and gold aurora glow. This is a pretty purple, but I wish that there were more swatch photos because I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like my chat is like way, way behind. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's like, I feel like, I don't know if I'm going too fast for the chat, maybe. I don't know, this is only my second live stream, so maybe I'm talking too fast. But yeah, this one, I wish that it had more, uh, more photos so that I could kind of see more, but I'm going to pass on that. Oh, this is really pretty. Sassy Cat's Lacquer, It's Always Tea Time, inspired by Alice in Wonderland Cheshire Cat. Powder blue with extremely glowy turquoise shimmer. 200 are available. This is really fun. You're doing great, kid. <laughs> Thanks. This, though, it reminds me of Sabretooth from Mooncat. If Sabretooth weren't matte. So I don't think I need it because I have Sabretooth. But I kind of like it. I, I like it a lot. So if you don't have Sabretooth, maybe you should get this one. Sassy Sauce Polish, Take My Hand, Wreck My Plans. We got another Taylor Swift. Inspired by Taylor Swift's folklore album, specifically the video Willow. Um, a magnetic smoky indigo base with a golden pinky shimmer. When magnetized, it pulls a mysterious pink purple cat eye and leaves behind a charcoal base with fiery copper red shimmer. 500 are available. Just another magnetic, and I don't need any more Taylor Swift polishes on my list, so we'll pass. <laughs> Sizzlin' Shades Nail Lacquer Little Red. Inspired by one of my favorite childhood books, Little Red Riding Hood. It is a ruby red polish with red hollow glitter, red glitter, and red shimmer. They really, really wanted a red polish. <laughs> 200 are available. It reminds me of um, an Orly polish that I have, and it's called Star Spangle, and I couldn't remember. Willow is on Evermore. Well, <laughs> we've screwed up the Taylor Swift. That's so funny. Couldn't even get your own inspo right. Um, this is not my kind of red. I like this kind of red as a cream, but I don't like the glitter so much. Again, reminds me of my mom. I don't know why. Sovereign Beauty Nana Bozo. This is inspired by the trickster hero of the indigenous people of the Great Lakes, Nana Bozo. Deep blue base with shifting iridescent glitter, holographic flake, and purple magnetic pull. That's really interesting. I Listen, I'm a sucker for polishes based off of anything like related to Michigan and the Great Lakes. I, I, can, I can mess with that. Uh, I feel like this month is very magnetic heavy. No, you're right. Like, I feel like every month there's, like, one trend that everybody's following. I like this even without the magnetization. So I think I'm going to add this. To, I'm literally, I'm a sucker for 
like Michigan based stuff. So, and look at that. Well, it's mad. I don't know. I feel like magnetics have been having a moment. Last moment seemed like lots of magnetics to me. Yeah. Like, I feel like we went from a ton of, uh, what was that? Like the reflective glitter was like crazy for a minute. And then there was like a lot of thermals and now we're getting a lot of magnetics. I think this one is super subtle. Yeah, it's subtle enough that I, I can like justify not even magnetizing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't usually like the same color magnetization. So, you know, on every one of your video intros, I have to check the speed because I have the feeling I have the setting on faster. I always thought I talked slow, but my dad says that I talk way, way too fast for him. So I guess maybe I talk faster than I expected. Let's see. Swamp Gloss, Love Ruguru. Inspired by the man wolf dog that haunts the swamps. <laughs> A burgundy berry base packed with dark rose to bright red shifting shimmer. This is again, like one of those reds where I love the tone of it but I want it as a cream. I think I just really prefer reds that are creams. I don't know what it is. Um, oh my gosh, Lacquer Dactyl. If you guys don't follow this person on Instagram, you absolutely must because their swatch photos, they're always like holding some kind of like little toy or trinket or something that is, it goes like hand in hand with the polish and it's so fun. It's like, I love people who do unique type swatch photos. So if you aren't following Lacquer Dactyl, absolutely go follow Lacrodactyl because I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pass on this polish. Here we go. Let's talk about this one. Sweet and Sour Lacquer <laughs> Weeping Woman. First of all, let's add it to the wish list. I love Sweet and Sour. They are my vibe. This is inspired by, okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't say this, this word. La Laronia, right? I don't know. Um, it's like, I try, I remember when the movie came out and I tried to say it and my sister's boyfriend has a master's in Spanish language and he just started laughing at me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I didn't say that right. Uh, inspired by the fair, by the tale, the weeping woman is a smoky iron blue jelly base loaded with red, black, multi-chrome shift. Some gold and green shifts could appear at extreme angles uh, and medium particle green shimmer 500 are available <laughs> oh my god i was posting with dinosaurs and then i found that guy had to write him and be like whoops guess i'm not super quirky and unique like i thought yorona la yorona okay i think i said that right this time <laughs> la yorona uh so there are a couple other mediocre mannies on instagram that I think they started after me, but like none of us like stole the name from each other. It's just something that happened. And I had one person reach out to me and be like, I'm really sorry. I can change my name if you want. And I was like, girl, you don't have to do that. Uh, like, it's not like a big deal. We're all, we're all doing what we can. Also, I don't like the, the problem is me and that girl, we look kind of similar from far away. We both have like long brown hair. And so it's just kind of funny that like, I see a picture of her and I'm like, what, what am I doing? You know, um, Vortrex, no, I will not buy you one. Yeah. I'm going to buy this one though. I haven't even looked at half the swatches. Look at that. It's perfect for Christmas. I, I don't know. It looks like a spooky as Christmas polish. Oh, look at that green. I do love that. Okay. Yeah. I want that one. Sweetheart polish, Lady Tremaine. Inspired by the evil stepmother from the cartoon classic Cinderella, Lady Tremaine. I didn't even know she had a name, to be quite honest with you. I just thought she was the evil stepmother. It is a gorgeous burgundy jelly with blue to red to orange shifting shimmer and a soft linear hollow splash. 200 are available. What is the measurement for a splash? That's what I would like to know. Let's see. I'm not a big burgundy wearer. That hollow is fun though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I would wear it. Hey, polish. Oh, hey, Jackie. Oh, my gosh. Glad you could make it. Oh, this is a top coat. Um, By a Pipla. It's just a smudge-free top coat. If you do uh, nail art or any kind of stamping and you don't have a smudge-free top coat, 
get a smudge free top coat you need one they will save your life happy halloween thank you i hate that everybody at my work spells my name incredibly wrong this guy is my bestie in real life and he's being annoying so trevor you can't see me right now but i am flipping you off <laughs> this is one eighth of a teaspoon i'd say is a splash all right i'm glad we had somebody weigh in on that that was important for me to know this is a top coat from Cuticula. They they have like scented top coats. Um, oh, this is another peppermint one. I don't love mint smells. I'm doing great, but it is snowing where I live and I'm not thrilled about that. So let's see. We're almost done. Top coat by DRK Nails. I have this one. I tried it. It helps a little bit, but it's like, like magnetics are just gonna be magnetics you know oh look at that <laughs> polished mess yeah that's exactly how i spell it yeah no sometimes people at my job call me the wrong name and i love that i just don't respond to those emails because they have to learn top coat by night owl lacquer moon glow i love that this is seven dollars and sixty cents that seems like such a random price to me Inspired by the glow of the moon. Um, I bought one of those scented top coats last PPU and was so excited, but put it on and immediately got a headache. See, I'm not somebody who's super sensitive to scents, but sometimes, like, if the mood strikes, I just get so nauseous. Like, it's not even a certain type of scent. It's just, like, some days I'm like, oh, I don't want to smell anything. This is... UV reactive quick dry top coat. It is a black light reactive. I just don't hang out around black lights. It's not glow in the dark. It glows in UV black light. I'm 31. It's not like I'm going to the club. The same people that <laughs> ignored you when you almost died at work. Yeah, it is in fact those same people. And then I like <laughs> I think I told that story last time, right? Where I slipped and fell at my job and I made a lot of noise and nobody came to check on me. So they love me there. <laughs> Nobody talks to me. Everybody calls me the wrong name. Uh, top coat by Vibrant Scents Enchanting. Scented fast and hard top coat. Inspired by an enchanting kingdom. It is an enchanting blend of frosty peppermint. Why are all these peppermint and vanilla? I will throw up. Like, those stink. I, I hate peppermint. The only peppermint I like is like a peppermint patty. It's currently 77 degrees where I am in Florida. I wish it was cool so badly. Oh, well, Florida is, Florida is, is it humid too? Because that's extra bad. TSS Nails Don't Prick Your Finger. Inspired by Briar Rose. The polish is based on the name that the fairies gave to Princess Aurora, Briar Rose. It is a beautiful mid-tone pink with a silver shimmer. This reminds me of a candy wrapper. I don't know. Like when they have this kind of like silver metallic look to them, I just look at those and I think of like foil candy wrappers. Recently got called the wrong name in a direct message. Dude, I I once had a brand reach out to me and call me, I think they were calling me like Tiffany for the longest time. And then I had to be like, hey, that's not my name. <laughs> it was really awkward. Um but yeah, no, I just don't like these kind of like foily looking colors. It's really pretty, but I wouldn't wear it. Like, it's really weird where I look at them and I'm like, I love it, but I wouldn't wear it. I hate mint in general, but it's probably all for Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like winter green, I think, but that's it. Like the winter green mint flavor. I just am not a big mint person. Oh my gosh, look at that. What the heck? Vapid the Seven Ravens, inspired by the grim fairy tale of the Seven Ravens, a twisted tale of seven brothers. Wait, I don't need to read all that. We just need to know what it looks like. Opalescent magnetic. Oh, what the heck? Why is it magnetic? What the heck? Um, Is your name spelled? It's H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. I get really uptight about the way my name is spelled because everybody spells it like with one L or they spell it like I-E, or they put like E's and A's and just like they put weird letters everywhere. And, and it's like crazy because I'm like emailing people at my job. My name is my email, 
and it's in my signature. And I'm like, all you got to do is copy and paste my name. That's all you got to do. And then everybody spells my name wrong. So I love that for me. Love the respect that I have. Uh, this is an opalescent magnetic with a blue purple pastel base and a pinky gold magnetic flash. The shade is created to be an ethereal and light. So this one can be a stunning topper or an airy three coats on its own. 320 are available. I've been dying to try Vapid. This is really, really pretty. I would wear it in three coats for sure. Um, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to miss the question. Yeah, I... Yeah, two L's. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't care about the magnetic of this. I like the three coater though. I'm going to add that. Watcha Vittoria, is it Regia? Regia? Inspired by Brazilian folklore. It is a green jelly with pink shimmer and green reflective glitter. 400 are available. This is one where, hmm, oh, I like their brand or their like logo. Let's see. I really like it here. Not a huge like, like I just don't know how to feel about the reflective glitter. I'm like very flip floppy on it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I love it. Sometimes I don't. You're right. It is similar to Envy Lacquer and that's why I don't need it because <laughs> I didn't put that one on my list either. But I want this one. I feel like the Envy one is lighter. <laughs> Linry, I don't think anyone's ever spelled it like that. So you've definitely, you've definitely won a prize. I used to take screenshots of every time somebody spelled my name wrong and put it in a folder. I just like to keep all the weird ones. <laughs> Uh, I really like this tone of green. Um, I remember how to spell your name because Mediocre Manny's has two M's, so Hillary has two L's. Yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> my friend Trevor always sends me, like, messed up spellings of my name because he just loves making fun of me. Um, love the watch it. Yeah, I think I'm more tempted by this one. I'm going to put that on the wish list. Oh my gosh, I have 28. Soon to be 29 because Frog and Toad, you're going on the wish list too. This is one that I saw and I was like, I have to have it. I love this emerald green and I love Frog and Toad. Like, it's so funny because as a kid, I really only liked colorful stuff and as an adult too. And so anything that was really subdued, like all greens and browns. So like, um, like any movies that had just like a green brown color palette, I was not into but for some reason, I love Frog and Toad. Like, I love the one where, I think it's Toad. Oh my God, look at that picture, <laughs> you guys. I'm gonna scream, look at him, he's so precious. But no, I love the one where he's like making a to-do list and I'm pretty sure like the first thing that he he wrote on the list uh, was like, wake up and then make to-do lists. And I was like, that's me. That's a hundred percent me. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> where did that go? I just saw the most insane comment. I can't find it now. Somebody said the way it's spelled, like it was like, uh, you know how people spell everything with like an E-I-G-H? Somebody spelled my name like that. And that was, that was wild to look at. Um, that green is gorgeous and I don't wear green. I'm getting it. It is really pretty. And like this frog in the picture is selling it to me. I still have my frog and toad book. I know it's such a, there's just something so nostalgic about frog and toad. I get really emotional about it. I can't explain why. Um, love frog and toad, even knitted them. I don't wear Christmas greens though. There it is. Hillary, H-I-L-L-A-R-E-I-G-H. -L -L -E Hilarious. Um, I want to knit them. I found like a knitting pattern on Ravelry and I was really tempted. I just haven't gotten the stuff for them yet. They are so precious. Okay. So that, that'll be my second ever wildflower because I just, I love the concept of wildflower, but I never buy wildflower. Last but not least, we have zombie claw zombie fairies. This one's really fun. It's inspired by zombie fairies. What the hell? Is a zombie fairy? I could not tell you. Couldn't tell you, but we got a polish base on them. It is a light grape base filled with electric lavender green blue shifting shimmer that glows in the dark blue. They are the cutest best friends. They, 
I just love, I, now I want to read those books again. <laughs> I love the shimmer in this for sure. That's really fun. But I don't know, like if it didn't have the flakes in it, I think I would like it more. I like it, the color and the shimmer together, but I don't like the black flakes in it. So I think I will pass on this. So let's check out, well, actually there's some other stuff too, isn't there? Let's look at the other stuff really cool, really quick, not really cool. Ashley gets spelled all kinds of wild ways. I just got plain old Ashley. <laughs> well, okay. So I, I feel like Hillary with one L is the more common spelling that I run into. Like I've only ever met one other person or maybe two other people who spell Hillary with two L's in their name. Um, but like, Hillary, my spelling is like Hillary Clinton spells it like that. So I just thought people would remember because I mean, she's fairly famous, right? People know who she is. I don't know. But then I get people who tell me they hate my name because they hate Hillary Clinton. They get like mad at me as if I personally was like, yeah, I would love to be named Hillary after a politician. Like I didn't choose this. I didn't choose this for me. I don't know. I used to think maybe I should start going by my middle name, which is Elizabeth. But that's like super basic too, so I don't know. Let's see, what kind of extra stuff do we have? I have this bar magnet, I have these magnet holders. Let's see. Let's take a look at the stamping plates. Cause that's all I care about here. She's just chilling. Oh, that's cute. A lot of birds, Hummingbird Charm by Lantern and Wren. Not that I really need any more stamping plates um i like this kind of like geometric one here my grandparents really love birds so birds always make me think of them let's see oh this one's cute it is called ba humbug it's like kind of a spooky halloween i'm not obsessed with the this guy with the tongue not not here for that oh there's a ball sack oh my god well <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one. Sometimes some of the things that I see on stamping plates, I'm like, there is a bong snowman. We gotta go. We gotta be, we gotta be done with that one. I got the bluebird Halloween advent and I'm obsessed with the body butter. Um, I, yes, their hand and nail stuff does show up on PPU because I bought, I bought, it's sitting right in front of me. I got their cuticle balm, uh, recently. <laughs> It's, it's a uh, Baja Blast scented. So, oh my gosh. I can't stop thinking about. Yeah, bestie, huh? Yeah, girl, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you waited for me to see them? I, as soon as I saw them, I was like, wow. All right. All right, then. That is somebody actively thought that in their head and then they drew it and then they etched it into metal intentionally. So, that happened. Uh... <laughs> Is the bar magnet? Yes, the neo neo neodymium or however you say it. That is like the best magnet I own. It is so strong, incredibly strong. I recommend it. Uh, I really like <laughs> that this one doesn't have any ball sacks on it. First of all, can I say that? I like the <laughs> I like the gingerbread man. <laughs> He's cute. Uh. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that stamping plate. That's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. Are you a unicorn? Uh, I'm not a big unicorn person. Uh, oh, I like this pug though. Um, yeah, nothing that's screaming to me there. We've got, we've got some miscellaneous. Let's see, cute little sticker, some socks. Some earrings. I wish I could uh, wear dangle earrings, but I got like blown out ears because I stretched them. <laughs> so, I mean, I can still wear them, but I just, I always forget to. This kind of scares me though, because the, the jump ring is going directly through the center of their head and it looks like they're dead. So that makes me sad. This though, okay. I love this print. This, this you salty bitch pattern is so funny. Uh, I don't have use for more bags. I don't need, oh yeah, this will, 
this will sell out incredibly fast because they did a like a clutch and I remember that sold out in like two seconds. <laughs> Kimmy, balls are great, but like on your nails. You know what I saw on Instagram either today or yesterday? It said one of the stamps was vampire tea bag, and then the other stamp was a tampon, like a used tampon. And I was like, wow, I want to die. <laughs> I was like, somebody made that. And everybody, to each their own, for sure. Everybody live your, your best life, but man, not on my nails. All right, yeah, so... I, oh, I love how they looped this into folklore. They're like, salt has played a major part in a lot of folklore, which is true. But it's like, Deanna, are they though? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not even going to try for this. I don't need it. Um, so let's take a look at the old wish list. We've got 29 polishes. So <laughs> I, I need to do some narrowing down. I feel like I'm probably not going to buy too much, maybe two or three, which I guess is kind of a lot, but I definitely, I know I want the frog and toad one for sure. That's a must. The Bigfoot one is a must. And then was there another one where I was like, must, must, must. I think those are the two where I'm like absolutely set in stone. And then I will probably try to pick a third one from this mess of wants I hate competitive shopping. Yeah, I agree. Like I, like there's, it's very rare that I will like fight for something. Like unless it's like something I really, really, really want, but that's a lot I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna narrow it down, don't worry. Because like I said, in November, I'm gonna buy Polish Pickup, obviously. I'm gonna buy the Cleona Advent Calendar tomorrow. And that's it, like I haven't seen any I haven't seen anything else that's really piqued my interest. I'm not a big Christmas polish person anyways, so I don't know. I had six on my wish list, got it down to two, and now after the stream, I'm back to six. How do I narrow down my wish list? Oh, I should tell you guys about that. So after, I wait about a day, and then I reopen it with like fresh eyes. And then I, I literally save all the, like a, a one good picture of every polish and I open them all because I have two 32 inch monitors. So I have like a lot of space on my computer. Uh, and I open up everything and I look at them all at once and I just exit out of anything that I'm like, I don't really care. I don't need it. Like if I see something that I really want the most and then that's how I narrow it down. I just, I, if I can look at them all at once, it makes it a little bit easier than having to look window by window. So, but yeah, um, like I said, so that's, gonna pretty much wrap it up uh i haven't seen the great lakes rogue quad i'm gonna go check that out probably after this because i love like i said i love great lakes type stuff but that's gonna i think pretty much wrap up the stream this time we've been going for almost two hours i can't believe it i have to eat dinner <laughs> and then i have to go watch over the garden wall because it's halloween and i must do that um so thank you guys for coming to my stream next time i will have a face camera and I'm hoping to stream before next polish pickup again. Uh, I just forgot to get a capture card. And without a capture card, the stream quality is just so low from the camera that it's just, it's almost not worth it for you guys to even watch. So I'll get a capture card. I want to do... <laughs> Sorry, I said your nails look like ashtray water that one time. I don't even remember that, but I love that you said that. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh my God. Anyways, have a great Halloween, everybody. Go eat a bunch of candy, and I will see you guys again soon.